I'm going to show you how to find the modulus of a vector. Now the modulus just means finding the length of the vector and sometimes we call it the magnitude. So in our example it says if b is equal to minus 3, 4, find the modulus of b. Okay, so our vector is over here and if you see these vertical bars either side of the vector letter, it means find the modulus, okay? So at the beginning, I think it's helpful just to visualise what length you're actually trying to work out. So let's look at the direction of this vector. This means we're moving 3 to the left and 4 up. So I'm just going to draw a little rough sketch of what that's going to look like. So 3 to the left and 4 up, and it doesn't have to be an accurate sketch. So the vector length we're trying to work out is this one here. Okay, so what we're trying to do is work out the length of a hypotenuse in a right angle triangle. So to do that, I'm going to use Pythagoras' theorem. So to work out the length of the hypotenuse, I would square root the base squared plus the height squared. So 3 squared plus 4 squared. And if you calculate this, it comes to 5. So that is the modulus of vector b. Now, as a general rule, to work out the modulus of any vector like this, you just square root this number squared plus this number squared. So if you take into account this negative 3, that is okay, but just make sure you pop it in brackets and the squared is outside, okay, when you're working out the length. So in this example, it says if n is equal to 0 minus 6, find the modulus of vector n. So again, if I just do a quick sketch, this time we can see that the vector is not moving left or right, it's just moving 6 units down. So it's just a vertical line with the arrow going that way, that is the vector we're trying to work out the modulus of. So you should just be able to see in this question, the length of the vector is 6. Okay, the magnitude is 6, the modulus is 6. Okay, so that's the answer to this question. So you don't even need to do the calculation that I showed you in the last example. You can just see what the answer is. But if you did do the calculation, it would have been the square root of 0 squared plus negative 6 squared. And you don't have to put the negative, you could just put 6 squared, which also will give you 6.